Hey everyone, so now since we updated our vCenter to 7, we're going to be updating our ESXi host from 6.5 update 3, build yada yada to uh, 7. So I had some weird issues in my dry run yesterday. Um, my Fusion IO SSD card here, it would not install to. Um, so I think it's a driver thing uh, from everything I've been reading on various forums. Anyway, uh, so we have all the or my VM's turned off. Um, we're gonna place this guy in maintenance mode. Mm -hmm, yes, here, and wait for that to execute. Yep, so now we are in maintenance mode. Uh, we're gonna head over to the physical box where we're gonna mount the media. Just gonna log in here, and my password. And so I have a different video, or not video, but a previous post showcasing how to do an offline bundle. Uh, this time we're gonna just mount the ISO and update directly over. So we're gonna open this up. Oops, let me grab that window. And um, I'm gonna mount the local ISO, which is gonna be the HPE custom image uh, for ESX7 and choose that here. And we're just gonna simply reset this guy because who cares? Yep, so that will be resetting and booting into uh, the uh, image that we mounted. Okay, before um, you get this going, make sure you hit your boot menu so you can select the uh, custom image that you mounted on whatever hardware you're using. Um, and then shortly after, you should be prompted with a menu of selectable bootable devices. So once that shows up here, we're going to go ahead and select the image that we mounted, which I did it through ILO. So selecting that, I'm going to just fast forward the rest of this installer here that loads, since this part is a little bit lengthy. Um, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward all this garbage. So here's the install, we're gonna hit enter and F11 to accept and continue. Uh, it'll do a short scan here, which will take just a few seconds. That's too many seconds. This, okay, so now uh, I have this installed on just like a little USB thumb drive. So I'm gonna choose that guy. And it'll gather information. Basically, it's going to read that there's a VMFS partition that exists. Um, and if we want to upgrade over the existing installation. So, yep, we're going to hit upgrade, hit enter, and OK. And you want to confirm the upgrade. So, mm -hmm. hit F11. And that's going to run through a bunch of things uh, and process the upgrade. So, I'm going to fast forward this guy as well. Boop, boop, boop. Good, done. And hit enter to reboot. So while this is booting up, um, it should load directly into the hypervisor uh, that we updated. And we can see right here that it is 7.0 um, with the latest release build. So, uh, yep, I kept the IP and everything. So I'm going to navigate over to. Let me refresh here and let me log in. And you should see that this is good and we are updated. Uh, it's still in maintenance mode. We're using the cu custom image. And um, there's some notices here and it's crying about licensing because we have to add a new license for seven. So we're gonna pull this guy out of maintenance mode and that should be that.